Hi, this is Raymond Rose. Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to talk about heart attacks. Number one, the indications, things you need to be on the lookout for if you think you're having a heart attack. And number two, how to survive a heart attack if you think you're having one and you're all by yourself and there's nobody around to help you. Regarding the indications of a heart attack, first of all, don't be a hero. If you think you're having a heart attack, call 911 right away. That's number one, top priority. Things to look out for, indications of a heart attack, number one, shortness of breath, number two, chest pains, number three, vomiting, number four, fatigue, number five, cold sweats, number six, pain in the arms, neck, and fingertips. Let me again review them very quickly. Shortness of breath, chest pains, vomiting, fatigue, cold sweats, pain in the arms, necks, and fingertips. Call 911 right away. Like I said, don't don't be a hero. Don't think you're inconveniencing somebody. Next, how to survive a heart attack if you're by yourself, there's nobody around to help you. First of all, in many cases, you've got 10 or 15 seconds to react before you might lose your consciousness. So what I'm about to tell you is really, really important. And I've done my research on this. I suggest you do the same. I've read uh, peer-reviewed reports from doctors. I've done my internet searches. I've watched different videos from physicians online. They all basically are saying the same thing. Here's what they are. If you're by yourself, number one, the moment you think you're starting to have a heart attack, you need to start coughing really, really vigorously. You need to take a deep breath in and then take a really deep push out. Each cough must be deep. It's got to be prolonged. It's got to be constant. Every two seconds, you got to be breathing in and breathing out really hard until help arrives. Because what happens is, is when you're doing that, the deep breaths gets oxygen into your lungs. And by coughing regularly, very quickly, every two seconds, you're squeezing your heart and you're keeping the blood circulating. And by the squeezing pressure on the heart, it helps it regain the, the normal rhythms. And in this way, hopefully your heart will start to come back into a somewhat of a normal manner. And that way, at least it'll keep you going until, you're, uh, until help arrives and brings you to the hospital. The two words that I use uh, that I wrote down is the words ha-ku. I, I, I spell it H-A and then C-O-O, ha-ku. The ha is when you're saying to yourself when you're breathing in, and the ku is what you're saying or you're breathing when you're, when you're breathing out. So as I said, you want to be doing deep breaths in and deep breaths out every two seconds. It's something like this. Ha-ku, ha-ku, ha you're going back and forth vigorously every two seconds. So again, dial 911, number for the third time. If you're experiencing shortness of breath, chest pains, vomiting, fatigue, cold sweats, pain in the arms, neck or fingertips, those are the indications. Start the whole process, like I said, haku, deep breaths in and out every two seconds. Hopefully the, the information I just shared with you will save your life. And number two, as I've said with all my other podcasts, if you think this is important information, please send it to your family and friends. Share it by uh, sending it to them via iMessage. Put it in their YouTube, uh, into their YouTube library, or even send it to them via email. So that's it for today. Uh, hopefully you got some good information. Uh, if you liked what I said, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got information regarding health, time management, uh, habit management, and managing money every single day, short podcast. Put your comments in the section below. And again, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my future podcast. For today, this is Raymond Rose. I'll talk to you tomorrow.